Hello, thanks for clicking on my video. Welcome to my channel, Lovely Moments Creating. If you are new here, consider joining the family by clicking that subscribe button and remembering the notification bell so that you will be reminded every time I upload a video. My name is Jenny and on this channel, I create budget-friendly home decor that's easy to do. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some of my not so spooky Dollar Tree Halloween DIYs. So if you want to see what I created, keep watching. I'm so excited to be teaming up with my girl Amber from DIY with Amber today to create some not so spooky Halloween DIYs. We both are not into the spooky spookiness, but we got some requests from some of our viewers and we decided to team up and deliver. Now these DIYs, I'm going to call them spooky, but they are like um, not so spooky. But I hope you find some inspiration. I think they came out really cute. What I'm going to be creating for the first one is this cute little truck sign. I'm going to be using this truck here from the Dollar Tree out of the crafter section. I also have one of the large canvas without the frame from the Dollar Tree. And this is the largest one they sell. I also found this um, card. This is like the journaling card packs and it has two sheets. But what I'm going to do is cut out the images that I want to use. I have some of the Dollar Tree paint, but I'm going to end up switching out that green for my Apple Barrel Limeade color. I'm going to be using two painter sticks for this DIY and I am going to cut the handles down. So I'm going to get started by first measuring how much of the painter sticks I need to cut off and then I'm just going to get my saw and cut both of them down all of these DIYs today are really simple but I think they came out really cute and I'm super excited to see what my dear friend Amber created because she is so talented and I know she nailed it now I have only did one other Halloween DIY video and that was last year and so I'm going to link that in the description box below so now what I'm doing is going in with that Dollar Tree black paint and I'm going to paint over these painter sticks after I get that complete I'm going to paint the truck now I did start off painting it with that Dollar Tree acrylic green paint but it was kind of light for me so I finished it off with two coats of my Appleberry Lame color now this year I am going to give two videos so I'm going to have this video today and I'll put up another Halloween video next week. So after I get it painted this is how it looks. I'm now going to take my black paint marker and I'm going to go around the top of the truck. I'm also going to do the wheels and just around the truck just bringing in this black color. Now I'm not going to add any other colors to this because I'm trying to stay with a color scheme for today's DIYs. And I'm going to keep them black with this green and I'm going to have white and I'm going to bring in some purple. All of these DIYs will be styled at my niece's home for Halloween. So once I finish getting the back of the truck painted, I'm going to work on the wheels. Now I'm just going to go across. I'm not going to do a full round wheel. I'm just going to go around the bottom and up the sides as you can see. And I'm going to repeat that on the other one. Just draw the lines to cut off and then I'll go around with the black. So after I get that complete, I'm going to start assembling my pieces. Now I did cut out the images from those journaling cards that I wanted to use. They had a cute little witch um, that was all black and then it had some of the legs. And so what I'm going to do is assemble my frame first so that I can add everything together. And what I'm going to do is just hot glue one of the painter sticks to the top and one to the bottom. And so after I get both of the sticks tacked down, what I'm going to do is attach those images that I cut out to the truck. So what I have is this little black witch. And I like that it looked like she was holding a lantern or something because when I added her to the window of the truck, she looked like she was 
holding a steering wheel as if she was driving so i thought that was perfect what i'm going to do is just add a little hot glue to tack her down And then what I'm going to do is get my other two little pictures and I am just going to hot glue those um, little pictures down where the legs are coming out of the truck. So I have the witch legs that's a, <laughs> inside of the little pot. I'm going to tack that down and then I'm going to tack the other legs down. After I get that complete, I'm going to use a glue stick to add to the images so that they can stick really flat down to the canvas and then i'm going to add the hot glue to the truck and i'm going to press everything down right in the center of my frame and once i get all of that tagged down this is really turning out so cute i absolutely love this i did use my cricut joy to print the saying who's the witch now <laughs> and i'm just going to transfer that over right onto the truck after I get that complete, what I'm going to do is use some of my sasso rope and I'm going to staple that to the back so I can have the option to hang this sign. This came out so cute. I didn't want to do too much to it. I just wanted to be really simple clear not so spooky but i wanted it to be really cute so after i get this cord staple this diy is complete and i absolutely love it who's the witch now this is so funny And now I'm going to get started on the next DIY. What I'm going to be using for this one is I have two of these arrows with the jute cord from the Dollar Tree. And I'm also going to be using some of the poster letters from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using a few colors of my acrylic paint. Now the first thing I'm going to do is cut the cord off the back of these arrows because I am going to attach these together with the arrows going the opposite way. I'm just going to take some hot glue to connect them and then I'm going to take a painter stick piece that I cut down from a previous DIY add some hot glue and place that right in the middle for extra security once I get that complete what I'm going to do is just flip over my arrow I'm going to take some painter stick some painter tape <laughs> and I'm just going to tape off the arrow part so that I can paint the center white and then I'm going to paint the arrows a different color So now I'm going to go in with my Apple Barrel White Acrylic Paint and I'm going to give this one nice good coat. Once I get that complete, I'm going to pull up the tape and I'm going to reapply some more tape right on the line where the white color in. And then I'm going to paint one arrow using my Appleberry Limeade color and I'm going to paint the other end using my apple barrel purple color so once i get the tape down i'm just going to start painting both of the arrows now i think this sign may be my favorite out of today's diys i think this came out really cute so after i get that painted i'm just going to pull up the painter's tape and then what i'm going to do is get the dollar tree poster letters and start adding my letters now as i'm placing my letters down i'm not going to press them down too hard because i want to make sure that if i have to readjust anything i can move them around and what i'm going to spell out on this sign is the word witch and the word way i also cut out a cute little witch hat from that um, journaling card paper that i got from the dollar tree and i'm going to add that to this sign as well so once i get everything down i'm going to see what i need to readjust 
and then I'll just readjust everything before I mod podge it. So now that I have everything where I want it, I'm just going over it, pressing it a little more. I left a little gap so I can take some of that glue um, and I'm just going to glue down the little hat right in the center. So cute. So after I finish that, I am going to go over it with some Mod Podge and I'm going to add a nice amount so that I can make sure that everything is nice and secure. Once I get that complete, I decided to take my Sharpie marker and just go along the arrow, bringing in that black line. And I am going to do that on both sides. So after I get that complete, all I have to do is staple me some jute cord to the back so that I can have the option to hang this sign. And that is it. I think this is so cute. Which way? I absolutely love the little witch hat and I love that the arrows are two different colors. This one may be my favorite. And now for my next DIY, I'm going to be using one of these Christmas houses out of the Christmas craft section at the Dollar Tree. I have one of these Dollar Tree round signs with the jute cord. I also found this cute little stencil that say home, sweet hunted home from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to be using one of those buds off of that Dollar Tree Halloween pick. Now I'm cutting the cords off both signs. I am going to add it back to the round sign and what I'm going to do is use that Dollar Tree black acrylic paint to paint the round sign. And so after I get that painted, I'm going to style the back of that um, Christmas house and I'm just going to use some of that Apple Barrel white acrylic paint to go over this just giving it one good nice coat and then after I get that complete I am going to use some of my purple acrylic paint and I'm going to stencil on just the home sweet hunted home I'm not going to stencil on the shape of the house I'm just going to get some painters tape to hold the stencil still And I am going to use one of the Dollar Tree little round foam brushes and I'm just going to add a little paint on the brush just um, rubbing off any excess paint and then I'm just going to go over the words. I'm making sure that I don't add too much paint, but most of the times <laughs> I still mess up my stencils anyway. Sometimes I get them right and sometimes I get them wrong. So after I get all of the paint on there, I'm just going to pull up my painter's tape so I can pull up the stencil. And I did have a little mess up and I started to get a little brush and fix it, but it actually gave it character because what I'm going to do is take my paint mark in the color green and I'm gonna go around the roof part, but what I'm doing is trying to create some little loops as you can see, like it's um, some kind of gook or slime. So the reason why I left the little mess up around the H and the A is because it kind of went with the theme. So what I'm going to do is just go around making it seem like it's dripping onto the house. And so after I get that complete, what I'm going to do is hot glue this little house to the round piece. Now I ended up not liking that green color by itself. So later on, I did just go over the same aerials with some of that lame color acrylic paint I had blended the two colors together and it actually turned out great and so what I'm doing is just hot gluing this to the round piece and then what I'm going to do is just take that little 
floral bud piece i'm going to hot glue that down and this was like in the shape of a bet i'm going to put that right on top and then what i'm going to do is add the jute cord back to the side and this is complete and you'll be able to see where i went over it with some of that lime color and blended it with the green uh, paint marker that i used and i loved it i think this is really cute as well And now for the next DIY, this one is really simple. I'm going to be using this jar with the juke hanger from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using that same color paint. And I'm going to be using the word that I printed using my Cricut Joy. And it just says Witch's Brew. And so I'm just going around the jar with some painter's tape because I only want to paint the bottom. And I'm just going to go over one coat with this color i didn't want it to be full coverage i was okay if you see through it a little bit because later on i think i'm going to style a tea light from the dollar tree in here so once i get that complete after they're dry i'm going to go over it with some mod podge because i want to secure that paint And then after that dries, I'm just going to pull off the tape. And then what I'm going to do is transfer over my little witch's brew. And I'm just going to add it right over it. And then just rub over it. Pull off the tape. And that is it for this. This was really simple. But I thought this came out really cute. And later on, I may add a little tea light to this. And now for the next DIY, I'm going to be using some more poster letters from the Dollar Tree. I have another one of those canvas without the frame. And I'm going to also be using 11 by 14 picture frame because that's the size of the canvas. What I'm doing now is just placing some painter's tape um, along the side of this canvas. And as you can see, I'm doing it on an angle. And I'm going to do this to both sides. After I get the painter's tape, the painter tape. I cannot speak today after I get the painters tape on there I'm not going to paint the center I am going to paint both ends I'm going to paint this in with the green color and I'm going to paint the other end with the purple color after I get both ends painted I'm just going to pull up the painters tape and then I'm going to get my poster letters I'm going to just start placing them on the board not connecting them all the way yet um, because I want to be able to move them around and get the correct placement that I desire. And what I'm going to spell out for this sign is the witch is mad. <laughs> I thought that was cute as well. So after I get all of my letters on here i'm just going to arrange them to where i want them and then i'll press them down and and once i get them all pressed down i'm going to go in with some my posh and i'm going to add a nice amount and i'm going to go over all of these letters because they didn't stick really good to this canvas so i need to make sure that I add enough Mod Podge so that can be nice and secure. And as you can see, they're not perfectly lined up because I didn't want it to be super perfect. I didn't want it to be too crooked, but I wanted to just bring in a little character for the words, <laughs> the witch is mad. So I'm going over this, making sure that everything is nice and secure. What I'm going to do is just add it back to this frame. Well, add it to this frame because it was never in there. I don't know what's wrong with me today <laughs> press down the little flaps and that is it for this i think this came out really cute the witch is mad and i absolutely love the color choice
and now I'm going to get started on the next DIY. What I'm going to be using is one of these signs with the jute cord hanging from the Dollar Tree. I have one of these little brooms, these little cinnamon sticks from the Dollar Tree, and I have one of these leftover foam brush sticks. What I'm going to do is cut the cord off that, add a little spackle so you won't be able to see that. And then I'm going to set that to the side so that it can dry. I'm going to go in with some antique wax color so that I can stain that little painter stick because that's what I'm going to use as the stick for the broom. So print it using my Cricut Joy the same. If the broom fits, write it. Now you can always use the small Dollar Tree letters or anything for any of these creations today where I did print using my Cricut. And so what I'm doing is just adding some painter's tape along the ends because I'm going to paint the inside of the painter sticks purple and I'm going to paint the outsides using some white acrylic paint so i'm going to go in first with the purple and then after i get that complete i'm going to go in with the white acrylic paint i'm going to pull up the painter's tape and then i am going to place some more painter's tape along the edge where i stop with the purple and then I'll go in and paint both ends using the white color and after I get both ends painted I'm just going to pull up the tape and I did have a little mess up but all I did was fix it with some of that purple paint again I just went over it with a foam brush after I fixed that what I did was went in along the lines with my little black sharpie marker Once I got that complete, what I'm going to do now is attach my broom. I'm just adding some hot glue to attach that stick. Then I'm going to hold it and I'm going to attach both pieces to this little sign, adding some hot glue. And then what I'm going to do now is just transfer it over my little saying. I decided to add it at the top instead of the bottom. So I'm just going to add that if the broom fits, write it. Now you can staple or hot glue some juke cord to the back of this sign so that you can have the option to hang it. And that's it for that. I did add a little leaf that I found in my little craft stash just to bring in a little color. I think this came out cute as well. Thank you all so much for watching another one of my videos. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you here. In the comment section below, let me know which one of these DIYs were your favorite. And here is another look of the other DIYs that I created today. Remember that I am teaming up with my girl Amber from DIY with Amber. So her channel and her video is going to be linked in the description box below. After you finish watching my video, head over to my girl's channel and see what she came up with. Make sure that you tell her her friend Jenny said hello. Thank you all again so much for supporting my channel. Until next time, my friends, stay safe so that I can see you in the next video.